Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633 and today I'm bringing you a review of the Power Rangers Samurai um, Deluxe Bullzord. Um, this Bullzord is a lot smaller than the Japanese counterpart um, Mogudayo, but in some ways it actually is better and in some ways it's actually weird. But let's start with um, pretty much how it goes. Um, articulation for this is just the usual arms. Once again, in Deluxe Mecha, which isn't surprising at this point by now. And, but the, what was surprising though is that they did actually come with the two discs, like the Sega version. At this point, I thought the discs were going to be removed because the other Zords were a lot smaller and they didn't come with discs or anything. They decided to add them with the training sets and all that. There are some discs missing, but that's another story. Um, however, this thing itself isn't too terrible. It is quite small, but at least it does have pretty much the main features as but Mongo Daya does, minus the size and the electronics. But electronics tend to be scrapped in American toys nowadays anyway. It's not really that much of an issue at this point. It does come with a gun, which is nicely me. Like pretty much the same thing. It's not bad, but let's take this off now. Um, this transformation, though, is a lot simpler than Mongo Daya, even though I don't own the deluxe one. Or actually, I don't own Mongo Daya in general. But basically all you do is close the face, take up the arms, and then what you do is kind of plug in the arms into the parts here. Then last thing you need to do is turn it around. That's all you need to do for Sorry about that. But anyways, um, this is pretty much the bull mode. Uh, yeah. It's a really simple transformation, unlike that. And um, this looked good in robo mode, but for Mogadayo, this part was actually better. As you can see, the legs are kind of not together anymore. So they're kind of bizarre in this mode. It does roll really well. But the mode itself, because of the back thing, looks really awkward. Um, basically, what you can also do is... Eh. Plug in one of the guns onto the side of the... hole. And he could be, like, I guess an armed one. Unfortunately, this can't exactly stay straight, so it either loops down or loops up. We'll get down a little, so... Yeah. That looks really nice otherwise. Uh, let's go back to... Actually, let's take it off because now, with this, when this guy was released, um, it allows you to finish the final combination. So what you do, pull the legs like this, close the face, pull out these pieces here, then push these pieces down, and that's pretty much it for this guy. Oh wait, and you have to pull off the discs. So, let's see how. Further I can get. Yeah, that's all as far I can go. Let's see if I can bring it up. Okay, that's a lot better. Um, then, what you need to do to finish the combination, you need to make it so that the rest of the body, for the main body, looks like this. Attaching the Ica disc, sorry, I meant to say the Octazord's legs, in front of the chest like this. Ensure that uh, Octazord's legs like this, and the head of the line goes, the tiger, should I say, goes there. Then you just plug, uh, let's see, sure. okay, plug these piece, sorry, plug this piece, let's see, show it, into, here like this, the hole that's right here. Do the same, the other side, and this thing just popped out, so one second, easily comes, on, but it also usually comes out, which is annoying. But, anyways, looking pieces like this. Oh, also make sure that uh, that um, the, the claw sort of tail piece goes there. Next, what you do is plug in the bull arms into the hand pieces right here. On this piece, what you do first. Plug in. Oh yeah. Ah, keep forgetting things. Just 
start off before anything else, what you do, pull the bolt piece right here. Let's see if I can show it actually. I'll plug it off just to show you. Okay. So it looks like that. Then what you do is take this disc, plug it into piece right here. It can be tricky because the way it's like that. So there. Okay. So it looks like that. Next, what you do is then put this back. And we're going to put this back. Put it back in. Make sure it stays in. Uh, take this piece, plug the second disc onto the gun. And you can see here on the back here, there is an orange peg here plug um, this into like so then back here it's another peg that you plug it into and that will keep that in place take the claw sword arms push it down a little Plug it into the back here. This thing is really huge, so it's kind of getting hard to just keep in camera. Okay. So now, it's almost done. What you do also, back here, Take the turtle, and you plug it into the peg here, turn around, and, oh, in my earlier review I mentioned that this was going to become a problem later on. Well, here comes the issue. As you can see, because it can't turn into the emblem mode, it kind of just comes some weird arm piece here, so it's really unfortunate they decided to design it so poorly. Um, next, what you do is take these pieces, make sure that the spinning ones go in front, and make sure that the piece here faces the right direction, both arms. So it looks like this. Then, plug in the chest panel piece from the bull sword into the peg right there and there you have the Giga Zord all complete. It's a really huge Zord and it's a really nice looking one too and as you can see here like Mogudayo the legs are finally split so that um, it doesn't look as stupid as it did slightly back then because it just looked like a giant flat panel. Um, actually, technically, it's slightly correct like that because it's supposed to be some kind of throne. But overall, looking-wise, this looks a little better, personally. Um, you can plug in the sword to the hand here. And that's pretty much it for the main combination. What you can also do, though, is take the shark sword, since they did use in the show like this before. Not yet a Shinkenger, I mean, Samurai, from correctly. Plug it in like that. And there you have a full-on... Giga Zord combination. It's a really good looking combination, I gotta say, besides the few flaws that really does make it end up sucking. The Japanese version uh, would allow this to roll on electronic, obviously, so it would roll by itself really slowly forward to signify um, it's turning. And these discs will turn, but you have to do this manually on this version. It's kind of hard to do because it's quite tight up there. Other than that, yeah, the overall design looks actually really nice together. Um, the individual modes, like the individual Megazords a piece, didn't look that good in a sense because the small size and a few problems here and there with each individual thing. But when you combine them together, it actually looks actually looks kind of better than the Japanese version just because of the whole split legs here and I don't know, it just looks really nice to me. And it's a lot more affordable than the Japanese version because. Shinkinger, oh shoot, actually I forgot there was one last thing you needed to do. Take this, 
Then, plug it into the back here. That'll look kind of strange. Sorry about that. And there you have actual, the actual full combination. You can't really see from the back, besides it does give some kind of wing design to it. See? So, yeah, this is one clusterfuck of a Megazord, actually. So, yeah. I say pick it up. A lot of the Zords are still around, though they are slightly getting harder to find since Samurai is almost over, so a lot of them are slightly hard to find. But they're kind of reissuing, I guess, if I'm correctly heard, the Octazord that comes with the um, different version of the Gold Ranger figure and so on. But other than that, I don't think you'll be able to find the other Zords that easily anymore. Could be wrong, but in my area, I don't see them anymore. But the main three, they're easy to find here and there, so I can say pick this up. If you're a Samurai fan, pick it up. If you're a Shinkajar fan, I don't know. It's your preference. If you think this is cool, then pick it up too. But anyways, this please comment, subscribe, check out channels, um, check out Tokyo News, and see you later, YouTube. Bye.